I've reached the halfway point of my training. Eight more weeks to all London Marathon. And what ultimately takes you to your destination is your momentum. Going up the stairs is not a easy thing for most people. Even the fittest of people walking upstairs is extremely hard. But you need an element of momentum to take you up them stairs. Have you ever started something and stopped it and tried to go back to it after a month, two months, a year? It feels extremely hard to get back into the swing of it. But important thing to make progress is to go one step after the other and the rest of the journey will feel easy. On the 21st of April, 2024, I run in my very first race. And that race is the London Marathon, where I attempt to run a sub four hour marathon. Follow me as I go through 16 weeks of training. Welcome. You say is the key to completing a marathon then? I'm one of those people to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I hate so running. The thing is that a lot of us think harder is better. Okay. But really truly what you want to do, and that's why it's important to a lot of people don't know about heart rate does. Yeah. It's important to run below your maximum in a run with heart rate. Okay. So the consistent you want up with slow up easy runs, the quicker you become. Oh. And what you will find over time. That your heart rate gets lower and lower as you get your faster. Okay. So a lot of people, that's the, that's the key and that's the foundation. But when you build up your rubber base, then you do want to like workouts, sprints, and intervals, okay. and they go a lot easier. Oh. Because you build up that foundation. Yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. Of people don't know about the foundation. No, that makes so much sense to be honest. So for me, I'm running about five miles per hour. I'm running way below my aerobic heart rate. My heart rate's at uh, 136 feet per minute oh, right now. So I'm able to talk. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that's something that comes from me being consistent. Building yourself up to that level, yeah. yeah. And the thing is, I'm someone I just have asthma. Oh, shit. You don't have asthma no more. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Where there's a will, there's a way. Did you open up your lungs and stuff, yeah? Open up my lungs and stuff. Yeah. And I work on a big tank, you know, and hang up for the rest of my life. Yeah, for, yeah, 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 of course, yeah. All that does is this, where it causes other complications. Yeah, 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 of course. Heart attack and things like that. So ideally, if I was to get into it, I should get one of those watches. Yeah. And, and, and just build myself up, yeah? Yeah, so um, the best way to do it is run at a pace where you're able to have a conversation. So it's not about the, the time you run, or is it more about the time or the distance? It's more about just building yourself up. Yeah. And just being consistent with it. Okay. Yeah, it's not about the time at all. Because when I'm just doing heart rate training, yeah. when I'm suddenly looking at this like, oh, am I above or below my aerobic heart, maximum aerobic heart rate? Okay. Now that little talk wasn't planned. Ed, who was filming me, was intrigued about my marathon journey and was looking to incorporate more cardio into his workout, so I'm sure someone needed to hear that.
every week I aim to show you different types of meals that I have. Here I'm having a pasta salad with spinach, chickpeas, cucumber, cherry tomatoes. And the dressing I have over this is avocado oil, cayenne pepper, Himalayan salt. And there you go, a lovely salad. And yes, this massive bowl of salad I'm eating all to myself. Today's long run is going to be a little bit different. From week one to week eight, I was doing my long runs at an easy pace. So now going forward, the long runs are gonna be run at different paces. So for example, today, I'm running for an hour and a half. The first hour is going to be run at an easy pace. And then the last half an hour is going to be run at marathon pace. And it makes things interesting because I'm not going to lie, running for two hours, two and a half hours at a slow, easy pace can get boring. I've gotten, I've gotten used to it, but it sometimes is just boring running at the same pace. So now I'm gonna, going to be running at different paces, which makes things interesting, makes things exciting. But also at the same time, I'm getting to practice my marathon pace. And hopefully doing these long runs in the up and coming weeks on Sundays will give me a source of confidence. Because even thinking about it, I sometimes feel a little bit nervous. But your confidence only comes through the things that you practice. So I'm going to look forward to today's run and just get it done. So that is another week of marathon prep completed. In total, I've done 29 miles of running. And today's long run felt really great. Uh, the last half an hour where I had to run at marathon pace, I felt comfortable running at an 840 minute per mile pace. For the actual marathon, my goal pace is between an 8 to an 830 minute per mile pace. But today I didn't feel like I wanted to really push myself. So I just stayed at the pace that felt comfortable and 8.40 felt comfortable today. So I'll see how I feel in the up and coming weeks. And it's all about just keeping up the momentum. And that's what I've been speaking about this week. And it's just so important for us to just stay consistent. Our consistency is going to keep that momentum going. But the more inconsistent we are, the more we lose willpower, the more we lose motivation, and the more we lose inspiration for doing particular goals and tasks that we've set out to do. Well, it's so important for you when you're setting up goals, make sure that the goals that you're setting up are bite size. Because when you try to set yourself too many goals, we get overwhelmed and we end up not doing anything at all. So it's very important to also keep your eyes on the prize and keep focusing on the benefits of why you were doing a particular task. So thank you once again for joining me. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Peace.